Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Els Basketball Training and today, like I was saying, we have a very noisy tractor thing fixing a driveway for this park. So it might be a bit noisy. It might be beeping right now. If it is, I'm sorry. But anyways, today I'm gonna to give you my top five core workouts, exercises. If you're a basketball player, these are a must do and a must have if you wanna become a very stable and strong basketball player. So being stable is very important if you're trying to go up for a dunk or a rebound, or if you're just trying to do a quick, just like a killer crossover move, having a strong core is very important. So the first exercise we're going to do, and if, you're, if it's your first time ever doing this, is to do it only 10 times. Now you're gonna get into a squat and you're gonna be slamming a medicine ball on the ground. Meanwhile, you're gonna be really tightening that core and you're gonna be slamming it as hard as you can. And that's gonna be really working on your core, making sure that you are flexing your core while you're slamming it down. It's a fantastic workout. Now, all of these five exercises I'm gonna show you today is either going to incorporate either just your body alone, a medicine ball, or a resistance band. Let's get over to the resistance band. I'll show you that exercise. Okay, so here we have a resistance band. I love using these. These are fantastic for you to use if you're trying to get a strong core or strong shoulders. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a step out so that there's just a little bit of tension so that your arm's straight forward as you see right here. You're then going to be tightening your core and you're gonna be twisting with your core, just like this. And you can do this for a timed amount of, you can basically set an amount of time like 30 seconds, or you can do this 15 to 20 times to start if it's your first time. This is a great exercise. And then whatever you do on one side, you're also going to do on the other, just like that. Now, medicine balls are usually like 20, 30 bucks on Amazon. You can get the description below. Uh, resistance bands are usually like 10 bucks or less on Amazon. Again, links are below. Okay, so the third exercise I'm gonna to talk to you about is sit-ups. I'm not gonna demonstrate them because everyone knows how to do sit-ups. If you don't, it's like in 10 trillion different places here on YouTube and on Google. Now, what you're looking to do is do 10 to 20 sit-ups if it's your first time. And then you're gonna try and stretch that out so that you can do it 30, 40, 50 times for three sets. Okay, so the next exercise I'm gonna to talk to you about is basically just simple planks. Now that is when you get down into a push-up position without doing a push-up. You're gonna be bending your arms slightly and you're gonna be keeping your body straight. And you can hold that for 20, 30, 60, however long you would like. 60 seconds is what a lot of players will do. Generally speaking, I usually do five or six sets of 30 seconds. Now, the fifth and final exercise I'm gonna show you is an exercise that will actually help you jump higher as well, and that is squat jumps while smashing this medicine ball on the ground. So, a squat jump, if you don't already know, very simple, keep the ball tight to your chest, go down into a squat, jump up. When you land, you're gonna smash that ball back down to the ground. Now, again, you need to have a medicine ball that bounces, like a hard rubber one, none of these sand-filled ones, and then you're gonna be doing that. Very simple, jump up, land, bang. Get it back to your chest, jump up, land, bang. And you're gonna be going faster, and faster all over and doing it 10 to 20 times, depending on your skill level, your strength level, and how you really feel with this. So core exercises are very extremely important if you're a basketball player. It helps you react faster on defense. It helps you have a faster, quick first step when you're on offense. And it also helps you be able to dunk and rebound staying straight without, if you get hit, basically if you're in the air and you get hit, your core is the thing that takes all of that pressure and it allows you to stay stable. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video. And if you want some custom practice plans, links down there as well.